Are we alone in the universe? The discovery of artificial light on Proxima b, a nearby exoplanet by the James Webb Space Telescope has sparked new hope in the search for extraterrestrial life. Join us as we delve into the potential life on exoplanets and the groundbreaking discoveries by the JWST. The search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most fascinating and mysterious quests in human history. From ancient civilizations pondering the existence of other worlds to modern-day scientists hunting for signs of life beyond our own planet, the quest to find alien life has captivated us for centuries. Looking back in history, we observe that the search for extraterrestrial life has been a recurring theme. From the ancient Egyptians and Greeks who believed in the existence of other worlds, to medieval philosophers who speculated on the possibility of life on other planets, even in recent years, the search for extraterrestrial life has been a topic in science fiction literature, film, and television. But it's not just science fiction, it's also a serious scientific challenge. The search for extraterrestrial life has shifted in recent decades to the study of exoplanets, which are planets that orbit the stars outside of our solar system. Scientists have identified many exoplanets that are similar to Earth in terms of size, temperature, and distance from their host star, making them prime candidates for the possibility of life. Exoplanets, also known as extrasolar planets, are planets that orbit stars that are not in our solar system. These planets are extremely difficult to detect because their host star's brightness frequently obscures them. But thanks to technological advances, scientists have been able to identify thousands of exoplanets in recent years. So how exactly do scientists go about looking for life on exoplanets? One important method is to look for biosignatures, or signs of life. These may include the presence of oxygen or methane in the exoplanet's atmosphere, as well as evidence of liquid water on its surface. Scientists can study the exoplanet's atmosphere and gather data on its composition using telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope. Another approach is to look for technosignatures or signs of technologically advanced civilizations. Radio signals or laser transmissions are examples of this. Scientists are also looking for variations in the brightness of the exoplanet, which could indicate the presence of a large artificial structure. Currently in the worlds of astronomy and space exploration, Proxima b is a hot topic. It is in the Alpha Centauri star system just 4.2 light years away from Earth. It was discovered in 2016 by a team of scientists using the European Southern Observatory's High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher instrument. Scientists are particularly interested in Proxima b because of its potential to support life. It is in the habitable zone of its host star Proxima Centauri, which means that it is at the right distance from the star to potentially have water on its surface. This is an essential component of life as we know it, making Proxima b a prime target in the search for extraterrestrial life. But Proxima b is not just any exoplanet, it's also close to Earth. It is, in fact, the closest exoplanet to our solar system. In comparison to more distant exoplanets, this makes it much easier for scientists to study and collect data on it. Furthermore, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, simply meaning that it's much cooler and smaller than our Sun. Proxima b is thus much closer to its host star than Earth is to the Sun, making it a super-Earth in terms of orbital period. This is an essential component of life as we know it and scientists have long believed that wherever there is water, there is possibility of life evolving. Because Proxima b is similar to the size of Earth, it's likely to have similar composition and structure. With an orbital period of only 11 days, scientists believe the exoplanet may have similar climates to Earth as well. All of these characteristics make Proxima b one of the most promising exoplanets for the search of extraterrestrial life. To make things more interesting, yet even more complex, the James Webb Space Telescope has detected artificial light on Proxima b, and it's the first time that we've seen anything like it. Scientists are now analyzing the data to determine what type of artificial light it is and where it's coming from on the planet. The implications of this discovery are massive. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. If there is a technologically advanced civilization on Proxima b, it would change everything that we know about the universe's potential for life. It would also mean that we are in fact not alone in the galaxy, and there are other intelligent beings out there. Imagine the possibilities of communicating with them and learning about their culture, their technologies, and even their way of life. 
it is truly mind-boggling to think about. Scientists have several hypotheses about how a technologically advanced civilization on Proxima b might use artificial lighting techniques. According to one theory, they may be using energy-efficient LED lights similar to what we use on Earth. Another possibility is that they are harnessing the power of the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri to power their lights. The possibilities are limitless, and it's exciting to speculate on what we might discover in the future. But there is a problem. Studying Proxima b is no easy feat. For starters, Proxima Centauri is located 4.2 light years away from Earth, making it rather difficult for Earth-based telescopes to collect enough data on the exoplanet and to study it in depth. But it's not just the distance that makes it difficult to study. In addition, because the planet orbits so close to its host star, it's bombarded with intense ultraviolet radiation. The radiation can erode any potential atmosphere on the planet, making it even more difficult to study. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. The JWST was created specifically to study distant objects like exoplanets, and it can observe in the infrared spectrum. The JWST also has a suite of advanced instruments, such as a near-infrared camera, a near-infrared spectrograph, and a mid-infrared instrument. The JWST can now observe in the infrared spectrum, which is critical for studying Proxima b. The JWST's infrared capabilities can cut through the ultraviolet radiation from its host star like a knife through hot butter. But the JWST isn't just a one-trick pony. It also has a number of other features that make it ideal for researching exoplanets. For instance, it has a sun shield the size of a tennis court that keeps the telescope cool and allows it to observe infrared without interference from the sun's heat. The JWST also has a segmented primary mirror composed of 18 hexagonal mirror segments. This enables it to achieve a level of resolution previously unattainable with a single mirror. This is critical for studying Proxima b because its host star's intense ultraviolet radiation would normally make it difficult to observe in visible light. As we mentioned before, the JWST has already captured some exciting data on Proxima b including the detection of the artificial light on the planet, which is a strong indication of a potential extraterrestrial life. The JWST's capabilities, however, are not limited to Proxima b. The telescope is also looking for biosignatures that can indicate the presence of life on other exoplanets. But even with the JWST, finding any extraterrestrial life on Proxima b is still a challenge. The telescope can only observe the planet for a limited amount of time each year because of its orbit around the L2 point. And while the JWST's infrared capability make it the best tool we currently have for studying distant exoplanets like Proxima b, it is not perfect. Scientists are still developing new instruments and technologies to help us learn more about the planet and its potential for life. Whatever the case, the discovery of artificial light on Proxima b has opened up a whole new world of possibilities and provided us with a glimpse into the possibility of life beyond our planet. It is an exciting time for scientists and stargazers alike as we continue to explore the vast expanse of the universe and explore the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.